Coming up on SAU News, find out why all students and some faculty are required to get new ID cards. And if you missed last Friday's Lawn Concert Vespers, our reporters captured the music and the spiritual atmosphere. SAU News starts now. Welcome to SAU News. I am Ben Lowry. And I'm Natasha Miralov. SAU News is a weekly newscast brought to you by the School of Journalism and Communication. Hundreds of students surrounded the Student Park's Goliath Wall for the annual Lawn Vespers. SAU News reporter Kendall Rittenar says each performance was unique. He takes us behind the scenes. Before people arrived at the event, performers rehearsed their songs on stage. Theology major Rodney Balmas explains how he and his friends actually wrote a song for this Vespers. We would have those moments where we would just feel really creative. So we just sat down, we just, to be honest, we just opened up the Bible, we just looked at some verses, and we just thought to ourselves, has anybody ever made a Sabbath song? Has anyone ever made a song about the Sabbath, like word for word, verbatim, from the commandments? So from there, we just thought of some words, and boom, the song happened. The audio video department spends all day setting up. Daniel Sacklone explains some of the difficulties. Since we're outdoors, uh, we don't have everything where it should be, so we kind of have to make do with all the different uh, size of the cables and also the way how the sound comes out. So we have to do a lot of testing to make sure that it's roughly the same. Because like in an auditorium, we have good acoustics and something, but out here, kind of just have to deal with the open space. I'm standing above the Goliath wall and we can see people beginning to pour in as the program is about to start. There will be performances from the Southern Band and La Rouge, just to name a few. Though the shadows may come, you help me see. like to perform at Lawn Vespers next year, be sure to audition. For SAU News, I'm Kendall Rittenauer. What an awesome event. Did you make it out there? I sure did. And you know, I we're so blessed. Like every year, as long as I've been here, the weather was just fantastic. It has been really good. The Student Association wants to make it easier for you to get off campus and go to church. That's right. Once a month, the SA is providing free transportation to the Orchard Park and Hamilton Community Churches, both in Chattanooga. SA President Andrew Ashley came up with the idea. If enough students respond, the SA may sponsor an off-campus church bus every weekend. The host churches are helping cover the transportation costs. Youth leaders from the Southern Union satisfied stomachs and wallets by serving pancake breakfast. Early risers came to the student park to see pastors mix gallons of pancake batter and scrambled eggs. Director of Youth Ministries Ken Rogers oversaw a raffle awarding students with several $50 gift cards. But the free food was enough to draw a crowd. The Southern Union has hosted pancake breakfast during Commitment Weekend for more than 30 years. Youth leaders aim to encourage students as they begin a new school year. A favorite off-campus fast food place received a facelift over the summer. The Taco Bell in Ottawa updated its building with a new design. Since reopening, the place has been overwhelmed with customers. If you stop by during meal times, expect a long wait. The restaurant remains a cheaper option after the closure of the university's campus kitchen. The Taco Bell has revamped its dollar menu and brought back the cheesy bean and rice burrito along with other specials. Southern Village was full of fun on Saturday night. The Student Association transformed the village into a block party. The place was filled with games and veggie burgers. SC Social Vice President Izzy Alori said he is pleased the new location was a success. People are here and they're having fun, so I did a good job and I'm, I'm satisfied. And I also did something yeah. like really like different. They haven't really used this location before. I incorporated like the open house. So, you know, it's trying to be creative and catch them off guard at all times. Apartment doors were open for refreshments and other entertainment, but students mostly stayed outside. And at the end of the night, everyone got one of these. 
It's the Joker, the university's photo book. You know, it's, it's a fantastic thing. You know, you just skim and you can actually put names to faces that you see on campus every day. I'm actually on page 87. Oh yeah, for all the single ladies out there. <laughs> you know, I heard that this year might be the last year that they print out the Joker. True, there are some rumors about that going around. They might be actually putting it on Southern's app, which hasn't come out yet, but it's actually for the SA Senate to decide um, what's actually gonna happen next year. Speaking of the Senate, newly elected Student Association Senators are now officially in session. 31 Senators filled seats as SA President Andrew Ashley opened with a worship talk, challenging them to use their leadership wisely. Executive Vice President Cameron Stock told Senators, we want to make changes happen quickly this year. Accounting Major John Weber explains why he ran for Senate. I like being involved with stuff, especially as an off-campus student. Um, it's a good way for me to stay connected to the school. Um, I also like being kind of behind the scenes um, and helping out that way. I, I like helping, but I don't always like being the center of attention. Be sure to talk to your senators about ideas and changes that you want to see happen. The campus card desk has been a buzz with students getting ID cards at the start of the semester. This year, all students were required to get new ID cards as a new system of locks is installed on campus. Access manager Don Hart explains that the current dip locks are no longer going to be available and so are being phased out for new Salto locks which have less moving parts, fewer batteries, and are easier to install and maintain. The new cards are embedded with a chip that allows users to unlock doors with a touchless swipe technique. The new cards are already being used with the Salto system in Florida Hospital and Summer Hour Hall. Eventually, all the academic buildings will have the new locks, while residence halls will retain the dip locks. Campus Safety is working on making the two main streets safer for walkers. The new crosswalk lights will be installed at the crossings of Thatcher South and in front of the Southern Village as soon as the lights arrive. In recent years, several pedestrians have been hit by cars. Campus Safety Director Kevin Penrod says that students assume that they're in a safe zone and expect cars to stop for them. Penrod hopes that the warning lights installed at all crosswalks soon. You may have noticed high school students in matching shirts marching across our campus. Future freshmen from academies across the Southern Union invaded SAU for View Southern. For three days, high school seniors were given tours, learned more about degrees offered here, and enjoyed catered meals from El Misson. Many were impressed with the school's natural beauty. Um, being here at Southern, it's nice, you know, the scenery is beautiful and the people here are really friendly, not what I'm used to in Miami. Basically, we've been meeting new people and viewing Southern. So this is kind of like an eye-opening experience to see like which school we want to go into as soon as we graduate from the school we go to. This week I went to three sessions. When I went to journalism and communications, I really loved it, enjoyed it, and I really think that's what I, I will be majoring in. It's so high tech and it's like, you could tell that it's like really good, like to learn and stuff. This week has definitely been an experience. You guys' campus is too big. Um, <laughs> I got lost. It's, it's, hard, it's hard to find things here because everything is a tree. That's about it. Lots of stairs. Stairs, there are stairs yeah. here. Too many stairs. stairs. More stairs. elevators would be nice. It's really clean too. too. Yeah. Yeah. It's really very cool beautiful. Kind of yeah, but overall it's beautiful. Hoodlums. View Southern gives Academy students a chance to see what campus life is really like, learn more about the programs that interest them, and get a glimpse of what Southern has to offer. Four lucky education majors were awarded with scholarships this month. The Georgia Cumberland Conference gave each student $4,000. Conference officials say that they want to financially help the future elementary school teachers who've demonstrated a commitment to the church. They also hope to attract quality teachers into East Tennessee and Georgia schools. To qualify, you must be a junior or senior and possess a GPA of 3.0 or above. The conference calls the new education scholarships Passing the Torch. And next week we will take you to Latin American Club Night. Also, we'll be at what the Campus Ministry Department is calling Fall at the Wall. Watch us next week to find out what it's all about. SAU News is a joint production of the TV News and Multi-Camera Production class here at Southern School of Journalism and Communication. I'm Natasha Miralov. And I'm Ben Lowry. See you next week.